another AR Wing Pro video. This wing is my second wing. First one uh, was actually my first wing. Uh, learned to hand launch on it, got a few bumps and bruises, ripped the wings off, glued it all back together. It flies fine, but I just wanted it something uh, new and pretty and shiny. So here is uh, the latest and greatest. I'm not going to go through a build video. There's a ton of build videos on this thing. I just want to kind of talk about some of the pieces and parts that I've added to this. As you'll see, I have a lot of 3D printed parts. Love my 3D printer. And so I'm going to start off here in the front and uh, run, cam two, uh, run cam 5. Um, I really like it better than my run cam 2. Seems like it's better quality. Um, now, I can't, you can't use this as an actual FPV camera like you can with the run cam 2, which is, there's some pros and cons there, I guess. For my FPV perspective, the Cadex Retel 2, it's kind of my go-to camera uh, for my, all my platforms. As far as from a video transmitter perspective, got a uh, Race Day Quad Mach 3. Works pretty well so far. Haven't really tested out too much. Under the hood, we have a Maytech 722 WPX. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple 3D parts here. This one is by Glenn at Bluefish. Uh, on Thingiverse, he's got a whole host of things, along with some other guys. If you go on a Thingiverse, type in AR Wing Pro, there's a ton of things. This is a remix of a remix of a remix, probably. And it just kind of cleans up the uh, cables and gives a little protection. So if things are flying around in there during a crash, <clears throat> maybe it won't short out. You'll notice this piece right here, which is another thing off Thingiverse that Glenn from Bluefish made. And it's just a couple open cavities that fit into this front of the air wing. And inside that, you put lead. And I took some solid pieces of lead, pounded them to fit exactly. And I've added over 100 grams simply right there. So uh, it works out well, nice and neat. And if I needed to remove it, it's pretty easy to remove. Over in this compartment, I have <clears throat> Maytech 5883 GPS and out here on the wing I have a FR Sky R9MM receiver. Uh, I have a R9 Slim Plus on my other wing and I think I kind of like that better just because I can have the two antennas and kind of put them at different angles. And then under here is just this dock uh, ESC. Uh, CG worked out perfect. It's actually, I got it to go a little bit forward from the CG perspective, so uh, I like a little nose heavy on this. Uh, that's about it. I'm gonna... Video of the hand launch. Um, I'm a big fan of the auto launch function in iNav for maidens. It seems to work great, and as you can see, it just launches right off. Not an issue. Thanks for watching.